In this Shaun and Liberty video, I bring you a complete guide on fishing in this game, where you can fish the best baits, the best rods, and exactly how fishing works so you can do it efficiently in Shaun and Liberty. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ. Now I'm still giving away 1000 plus a Lucent. I've given like four sets of 1000 plus away already. Now if you guys would like to win it's as simple as this, drop a like on the video, leave me a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. I'll pick winners from the comment section of my previous Ron and Liberty videos. So the more I see you active, the more of a chance you have of winning and I'll announce them on tomorrow's video. So good luck everybody. Okay, so fishing is just another big part of Ron and Liberty. Now I know this isn't something for everyone, but fishing does reward you those fish obviously, which can be used to make some incredibly important foods, which can help you in a variety of different ways when playing this game. Now fishing is something you should get a quest for real early on, could have been a side quest, I can't really remember, uh, you may like me have just completely skipped it at the time, or you may have completed it, either or. But there is quite a lot to fishing in this game, from the basics to more or less the very important stuff. So firstly guys, you need a rod, and then you need that bait. You should already have these, the standard version it gives you early on in the game, but if you somehow don't, you can get the bamboo fishing rod from the contract coin merchant. It does cost a chunk of those contract coins, but hey, if you don't have a rod, or just want a better one, this is what you have to do. Now there are a few better rods you can get which we'll talk about later on in the video. So now you have your rod, you now need that bait. Now to get bait there are a few different ways and quite a lot of different baits in the game, we'll go through it all. Again from the contract coin merchant you can buy one of the fishing bait chests per day which when opened you get 50 of the bait, these cost 20 of the contract coins each but again it's one per day but it still ain't too bad. But in regards to those contract coins, you get these for completing contracts. So head to your contract manager within any towns you are at, pick up those contracts guys, upon you completing these, you do get those contract coins. Be wary though of your contract rights, keep an eye on this, that number at max is 60. This means if you have this 60 contract rights here guys, you can do 60 contracts in one 24 hour period until that contract right number goes down to zero. When it's at zero guys, you're rewarded 10 uh, contract rights of every daily reset. If you leave it for six days, you'll go back up to 60. It's as simple as that, but this is the limit on how many contracts you can do. Uh, so if you have 30 of 60 contract rights, you can do 30 contracts within that 24 hour before the game rewards you 10 more contract rights. But yeah, completing contracts, any contracts will give you those contract coins. These are used at the contract coin merchant. But there are other ways to get easy bait and one of them is by using your ornate coins, which you get daily in the mail and you also get these for finding those pages scattered in and around the map. Now you do get three per page you find, so yes, yeah, as simple as that. So yes, if you have plenty of ornate coins, which you can see when you go into your shop, top of your screen, that sort of like pink coin currency, these are your ornate coins. So yes, within the shop menu, scroll down to the ornate coins section. Here guys, you can see that you can buy these fishing bait chests. They only cost 15 of these ornate coins each, and you can buy a total of 100 of these per month. So that's an easy way to get bait too. Now there are other baits you can get, there's a worm bait which you gather from the star trees and the fruit star trees, you will find these in areas where there are plenty of trees around. Worm bait has a high chance of attracting medium sized fish and other stuff which we'll come to in a second. There's also shrimp bait, so shrimp bait you can get by taking out enemies near bodies of water, things like crabs, lobsters and so forth. These can also drop you that salt too if that's something you're looking for. Now shrimp bait I'm certain attracts those smaller fish, there's also guys fish fillet bait, so you get this bait guys by simply dissolving fish you have, it's as simple as that. So what this will do is it will allow players to continue fishing over and over if they run out of other baits and have plenty of spare fish, so dissolving said fish will give you the fish fillet bait, but you can also guys get that fish oil too, which is another ingredient used within cooking, so a very very important there. So this bait seems to attract the biggest fish in the game, so that's pretty cool too. Okay, so you have your fishing rod and you have that bait. You now guys need to equip them within your inventory. 
wants to equip guys. From here, you can more or less go to any body of water. Once you find any body of water, I like the outer skirts on the map, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, on console from here guys to pull out your fishing rod you need to pull up that ring wheel the second tab in the second page in you'll see your fishing rod here and just press that button to use it it's as simple as that from here guys you simply just cast into the water a few seconds and a fish should hook up on here guys it's quite simple two bars appear on your screen the right one is your stamina which you're limited to tugging the fish left and right while the left bar on your screen is the fish's health which upon it running out you catch the fish here it's all about keeping that fish within the perimeter uh, a few yards to the left and a few yards to the right where you hooked it and keeping that that symbol above its head green I actually think here because of the stamina bar being limited that tapping the directions of left and right when trying to catch the fish is better than holding it because your stamina runs down much much less. Now like I said the fish needs to be within that certain parameter and you can tell when it's within this because of that green marker above the fish. When this is in the red it needs to be dragged back into the green simply by going or tapping left and right. It really is that easy guys. When that fish's health drops you then catch it. That's it. That's what's to it. Now you don't just catch fish here. You can also catch sacks, which reward you certain other items in the game like Solent, Nature's Jade, and more. Now I believe there are three types of sacks, maybe four. I know the small, medium, and large, but there may be another one too, which I haven't got yet. Okay, so what about the different rods? Well guys, as far as I'm aware, there's quite a few of them. Now different and better rods come with that fishing bonus level as their trait so keep that in mind the better the rod the better the trait the better the fishing level pretty cool now the best early game one you ain't too hard to get is the steel fishing rod this is one you can craft where it does require certain materials but they're quite easy to get for the most part so if you come to this merchant within any town that she's here, um, you can simply see here guys that the steel fishing rod is there to craft. Now what you need here guys is that bamboo fishing rod, which again you get from the contract coin merchant as we saw earlier. You also need 10 of the nature's jays which you get from those sacks which you collect while fishing and a few other materials which are real easy to get. Now there is another rod you can get in a game which you more or less have to level up to get to which is actually something I like. So this one is called the Monster Bone Fishing Rod. This one again you can craft and it requires you to have that steel fishing rod. You need 30 uh, rare mistwood and 30 of nature's jade. So yeah, something you will have to progress towards. Now having a look online, there are many many other better fishing rods but the majority of these come from the Conquest Participation Rewards. So yes, that's not something you're going to get real, real early on. But there we have it, a complete guide on fishing and I hope this video helps you out. If it does leave a like, it really helps me out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.